Hi everybody, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost and today we are continuing our little mini series on envelope notebooks. Oh my gosh, we could do this series forever. I just think there's so many fun ideas you can do with notebooks. Anyway, today's uh, uh, video will focus on a notebook that already has some design or printing on it. Sometimes greeting cards have notebooks with some stuff on it. This technique will work whether you have a plain envelope or a decorated, pre-decorated envelope. And uh, I just have a bunch of pre-decorated envelopes that I got, um, I believe on AliExpress a while back. And uh, I wasn't quite sure what to do with them, but this um, project lends itself to using up some envelopes. Uh, but as we I showed you last time, you can take plain regular envelopes, white envelopes, and decorate them up and make some really cute little um, uh, notebooks, envelope notebooks. Um, without any decoration on them you can just put your own decoration on them so we're just advancing down the line okay so this little guy is prototype and uh i put um a stamp on here a little piece of cotton fabric with the word life uh let me let me zoom in this way it's better i don't be bouncing around on you so much um with the word life stamped on it some doo -doo -doo. yep it was this stuff liquid pearls in the color bronze or some dots Long side. Look at these fingers. Do you think I've been I've been uh, making prototypes today? Yep. <laughs> okay. And uh, so the back already had some design on it. And basically all I did was ink around the edges. So a lot of your work is already done for you if you start with a pre-decorated envelope. Um, and this particular envelope has a flap on the inside that looks like this. Okay. It doesn't have to have this style flap. It could have the triangle flap like it did with these guys. That can look like that, okay? So and pretty much any flap will do ya. Any flap will do ya. Um, and then you can tuck all sorts of goodies here and in the back, all sorts of good. And now uh, for this one, I think I showed this before, but the example was you could glue this flap down here and that makes an actual real pocket. Or you could leave this side open and I would call that more of a tuck you know, that junk journal jargon, uh, you know, place to stick stuff, whether you want to call it a pocket or a tuck, who cares? Um, it's just a place to easily get things in and out of. Now, the uh, amazing thing about these envelope notebooks, if you cut off the edges of your envelopes, you also have two more little pockets here that you can have fun with. So lots of fun to be had with one little plain envelope and you can you know, get them in all places. Um, so let's make one of these guys. And I'll do the sewing technique this time. So this guy was sewn down the center with my, my very proficient, not really, my uh, very scant uh, sewing skills. So I'll just show you how I did and a few couple, a couple of tips and tricks on that that I discovered. It's not rocket science and all the seamstresses are laughing at me. I hear you. I hear you. Um, it's just, uh, it made my life easier. Okay, so here we go. Um, just gonna move this journal I'm working on. Okay, over there you go. Always a journal on the, on the table somewhere. Okay, let me get organized here so you can see. There we go. Stop wiggling. <laughs> All right, so here's the envelope. You're looking at your envelope. And what you want to do is you want to look at the back of the envelope where the flap is, and then you want to make sure your flap is at the bottom. So rotate the whole thing. Let me, yeah, there we go. Okay. And uh, let me zoom out just a little bit. Okay. Yeah, better. Okay. Um, okay, so the first thing we're going to do is fold it in half. Yes. Here we go with the brain surgery here. Rocket science, neurosurgery 101. Fold paper in half. Fold envelope. You can do this. You can use your thumb, thumb tool, or you can use your bone folder. Bone folder gives you a really nice sharp crease and helps your booklet stay closed better. Okay. Um, and then you have this and you're almost done. You're almost done. Uh, so uh, what we can do is uh, decide whether we want to do any more on the front here. Um, or are we happy as is? And I was playing with some script stamp the other day, and I think I still have some, not the other day, it was this morning. Um, but I have uh, some ink still on here, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do this and see what happens. Oh, that's kind of cool, isn't it? Like that just, we leveled up. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Okay, so I'm thinking I'm gonna do that here too. Uh, I'm gonna put it on angle this time. I can, it's funny when you use these script stamps, they really, you get a lot of bang for your buck because there's there's always it, it, it's like there's ink and ink and ink well maybe if i cleaned it it might ha have that much ink but i think that looks pretty cool huh yeah okay so uh who makes this okay i'm gonna show you because i don't know i'm gonna get asked stampers anonymous okay there you go have fun <laughs> um if i can find it i'll stick it in the amazon store i gotta remember pull the stamp pull the thing out I don't think it's in there. Oh, okay. 
Um, I need more ink on here. So today I am using walnut stain yet again. No, no, maybe I'm not. I'm backing away from walnut stain and I'm going to use something different called darn it, dag nabbit. I'm going to get some kind of blue, I guess, because I never use blue that much. Oh, that's an evergreen bow. Let's see what do we got. What do we got? What do we got? Grab one, Pam. All right. We'll just grab this one. We have it. Evergreen bow. Yes. Okay. This is something different. Instead of always inking in brown today. Okay, I'm not going to do this side because I think I'm going to open those. Yeah, trying not to do what isn't necessary. So the, we're going to do the C shape in the front and the back. If you flip it over, it's the C shape. Okay. Um, now this particular paper already has some, it has a lot of cream element in it already. So it's giving me that, that vintagey sort of look. But, um, you know, just to say that, not that I'm actually picking up my brown dauber, but if I was, I could go in here and brown it up even a little bit more to make it look more rustic. This isn't actually happening though, because I'm not doing that. No, no. Okay. Okay. Not necessary. Just kind of fun. Okay. Get something, nothing on my dauber. Okay. Okay. There we go. That's enough. Put it away. <laughs> what a big fat cheat that was. Okay. So now. Um, I think that's really pretty as is, and we might play with that a little bit more, but let's go ahead and migrate onto the center. And I'm gonna do what I did in the demo or the prototype. Um, I'm going to use uh, Fabrifix glue here. No, wait, I'm not gonna do that yet. I am going to, I'm gonna hold my Fabrifix glue in a half a water bottle. Some will leak out at the bottom, only during crafting, and then return it upright. Um, but just then I don't have to wait for my glue to come down. Um, I think I want to emphasize the edges a little bit. So let me pull out that lovely evergreen bow. Here you are, evergreen bow. And uh, you don't need to do the center, but I'm going to do it so you guys can see where the center is as we're, we're doing things. I'm using the wrong thing. Of course, of course, we have now cross-pollinated. It's my life. Okay. And this will just give it a little, you know, amphiroony. A little emphasis here delineating the pocket or tuck of it all. Okay. At the bottom. Okay. Hewing, hewing. You can, you can, you can hew till the cows come home or just little hew. Depends on what style you like. Some people don't like grungy and they like clean and, um, uh, you know, so that's, that's totally fine. Oh, I guess I'm going to, let's just finish what we're doing here. I'm going to go ahead and ink all around. Since I'm inking, kidding, 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 kidding. Yes, I'm inking, kidding, kidding, kidding. It helps if you sing while you ink. Ding, kidding, 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 ding, kidding, kidding, kidding. You don't have to finish the song either. It's not a rule. No. Why? Because there are no rules because we're junk journaling. Okay. Um, okay. So now we need some paper. And last time I used some college rule paper, but I think I'm gonna use something different just so I can show you something different. And let me grab some. Somebody sent me some beautiful um, colored dyed papers. Thank you very much. I truly appreciate that. And I am putting them to good use as promised. And I think I'm going to put some in here because I think the contrast would be really cool. Okay. Um, let's say we want to make our little signature. Let me turn it around here. Okay. So we know you're going to go there to about there. Okay. So... Now, let me back you up a little more so you can see better. All right, so I am measuring, basically. Okay, I want it to maybe land there, and there's the... You can't see that at all. Um, okay, see that? I'm putting it where I would like it to land, and then I'm noting where my center fold is, which is another reason why it's handy to mark up that thing, because then you can see... And then I can put a little mark right there, like pretty close to where I want it to fold. And then I take this, bring it over, have it fold right where that little mark is. And I have to line everybody up at the top and that should give me an even fold. So I'm looking in there and there's my little fold. Look at the dirty fingers. Oh my God. <laughs> All right, really, somebody should talk to this woman who's crafting. Get a hold of yourself, ma'am. 
Okay. Okay, everything should be good. Okay, back up so you can see what I'm doing. And now, folding. Oops. Bone folding. Sometimes it's best to go from the center and out. Center and out. That way everybody's going to lay nice and flat the way you want them. Now, let's just check for the width is right. Sometimes I'll measure everything and it's still not right. That happens. My pseudo measuring. Well, if it doesn't measure right, we'll just snip it off. Um, okay, so, but the next one we want to know is how long. How long? There was a tear. I don't want to do with the tear part. Okay. Okay, so the next how long part is I'm going to here. Okay, I want it to go to here, just above the bottom. Okay? All right. Yeah? Okay. So I'm just going to, oops, sorry. I'm just going to go and cut across here. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. All right, so I have this. And let's just do a test. All right, it's okay if the test fails. My tests often fail. Okay, not bad. Not bad at all. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to have it like snug as a bug where I want it in there. But I do want to open up these little edges of the pocket. So I'm just going to come along here. Zoom in a bit. And um, I'm going to lay a ruler down here just like we did the other day. And then I'm just going to cut a smidge. I'm checking on the bottom and the top to make sure I'm catching both edges of my envelope. And if I, if I was a good envelope folder, I would have, they would be pretty close. Yeah. We don't have to have perfect here. We just have pretty darn close. It's a great world to live in. Okay, go slow, firm, and cut. And this is also doing two-for-one task here. We're cutting and trimming our papers to fit perfectly. Plus, we are also cutting off the edges of our envelope so we have more pockets to play with. And when you have that feel of the gummy feeling, like you're going through your craft mat, then you know you're, you're home free. Always retract your craft knife. And what do we got? We have the pages aligned perfectly. And I have a little pocket and a little pocket. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, we're, we're good. Okay, so now, da, 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 I'm going to sew. Hold on, I'll take you over there. Don't laugh. All right, I am now going to sew. And I'm just going to sew a straight line down the center on my brother machine. It's number one. And I'm going to do a, a little bit of a back. My, my tails are out. Yeah. And I've uh, widened it so my stitches are wider. I'm going to a 4.0 width. That, so I don't poke so many holes. Maybe three stitches, four stitches, not even that many. I just do a couple back. And then you can. Now, it would have been really handy if I made a line. If I, if I would have. Uh, oh, this is terrible. You don't have to do this. If, you can see with, you know, if you're right over there, but I'm kind of behind the camera here, so I can't see as well where the line is. <laughs> oh, lordy me. Okay, here we go. All right, it's pretty, pretty darn close. Okay, here we go. In the land of pretty darn close, a lot gets done sometimes. <laughs> okay, and then a couple of back stitches, and then out the gate. Okay, and then we're done. Just a little cutter on the side of this gizmo. Brother Limited Edition Project Runway. I got it at Walmart, I think. Um, okay. Come on back. Okay, you're back. Great. I was waiting and waiting. I went and had a coffee. I was like, where are those guys? Where are they? No, I wasn't. I, had, I already had my coffee today. Only, I only can have one. Yeah. I get a little too excitable if I have more than that. <laughs> Lord knows what we'd be making then. We'd have like a thousand of these things done. Maybe I should have more coffee. Okay, so there we go. Everything fits perfect. It's all sewn. You get the cool sewn look. Yeah. And now we can fold it in half gently with thumb just to give it the, the nice initial crease. And then come along later with bone folder if you so choose to give it the super crease. And now we can decide what we're going to put in our little guy. Oh, right. Okay. Now we're going to glue down this side and we're going to make the official front pocket. All right, let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. All right. Now, sometimes I like I like contrast and pop and uh, sometimes a lot of the things that we make in the vintage world or we print out with digital stuff is already kind of muted and cream or vanilla. So sometimes you don't get a lot of like contrast because it's it's uh, already that that color you know that creamy color so if you want to use things and have them pop 
uh, sometimes all you need to do is put them on a little background that pops and uh, then you are good to go. So let's try that. All right, so I grabbed a piece of white cardstock, um, so thicker than normal paper. And uh, I'm just gonna mount these on here to give me some fun things to stick in here, which would be cool. And um, I'm just gonna ink around the edges a bit, hiding any of the white that got I missed as I was fussy cutting, so I'm not the world's greatest cutter, but uh, oh, guy's gonna pass out. Um, and I'm gonna use my Scotch Create glue stick. Let me back out so you can see better. Okay, what are all those shadows? Huh. Huh. Okay. Oh, I know. It's my light. Okay, well, we still have the shadow. Oh, well, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> okay. Um, so I'm going to glue this down. And you can go there. There you are. Look how happy you are. And uh, let's find a few more of these. Oh, you're the same guy. No, we want somebody different. Um, let's see, I have lots of owls here today. Oh, you're pretty. Let's use you. All right, maybe we'll do two or three of these. Those are like quickie uh, journal cards on the fly. Oh, we got a pretty owl on the back. Oh, I hate to, I hate to decide, but sorry, you're getting glued. Yeah, we'll use you another time. I, I, I think I accidentally had my printer on print front and back. Lord knows why. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's what happened. Okay. All right, let's stick you down. Okay. And maybe... Oh, you're kind of cute, but you're already on cardstock, so we'll leave you as is. Okay, look at that. I was ahead of the game there. I started to realize that when you cut, print on cardstock, your uh, journal cards are pretty much done. You just decorate them, and um, if you want to put something on the back, you can put something on the back. Maybe I want to put some more of that script stamp on the back. Okay, I've got some ink on here still, I'm sure. Okay, I use what's at the ready, right? Look how pretty that is. Ah, yeah, done. Yeah, okay. Um, let me get the uh, more brown, more brown. Yep, inking a little bit around here. Dear, 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 dear. Okay, anybody know what movie that's from? I think I asked you that once already. I have a very limited uh, selection of songs, <laughs> so you're probably going to hear the same ones. Okay, so now I could cut these out and they could be just nice the way they are, but I'm going to pull out the old scallop scissors. Okay, these are probably for fabric, but look at me going big and bold and using them on paper. I know, I know, I hear you, I hear you. <laughs> uh, but I think the edge is so pretty and you can cut through thicker paper so easily with these. Now you just gotta pay attention with the scallop. You get the scallop going the right way. Now remember, okay, let me just show you something. This little trick, everybody probably knows this, but if you want your scalp to go the other way, you turn your scissors over. It feels weird, but it will work and give you the other way. So you can get, sometimes it just depends on your paper, where you're at. Okay, I turn it over the right way again. No, or not, see, now I'm having a hard time getting in there, so I'm having to turn around. I can't do my scallop this way, so I'm turning my ciggers, ciggers, turning my ciggers over. And I'm scalloping the correct way now, or the way desired. Okay, if I could cut straight, that would be wonderful. Is that gonna give me the right way? Yes. Always double check. All right, so there we go. Very cute. So now, when I pop this little guy in there, I'm gonna make sure there's no little fuzzle edges. He show he pops nicely. Okay, so we'll put you there. And I just wanna show you, I'm gonna leave this back one open so that, now that didn't pop very well, did it? No, I'm using the creamy stuff again. Okay, let me start to pop them, something. Like this, yes, okay. This uh, Victorian trade card will pop nicely because it has a white border. So I can put that in there. And then maybe I want to put something here. What's this? This is a sticker. I could do that. Okay. I'm just gonna put the little anchor around the sticker. And I'm gonna sit here and attempt to separate. Oh, I got it. Oh, that was an easy one. Yay, yay. Some stickers have better glue 
than others. So just kind of, you know, if you need to put some extra glue stick, do it. Just do it. And then you can sleep at night and not worry whether that thing's going to come off. Yeah. And, uh, oh, what's this? I got a, I got a pile of these. Let me use some of these. Okay. So these are, um, where did I get that? Where, what, oh, the Dollar Tree, I think. I got like a bag of these for a dollar. Yeah, it was kind of cool. And, and these are really handy because you can do anything with these. Like you can, you can put a word on them. You can ink them up. You can, you can, you know, eh, oh, there all of a sudden that's all dirty and grimy. And that looks kind of cool, right? Um, or you could even turn into a little baby pocket. Okay, let's do that. All right. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. Little baby pocket. Maybe time. Okay. So just, you know, overkill on this one, just having fun, playing, goofing around, just showing you different ways that you can decorate these things. Um, okay, let's put you, maybe the pocket will go here. Okay, and then I need a little something, just a little something. How about you? Whoop, okay. I'll give tuck you in there, you'll go, all right. And uh, this, because he's long, I could have him dangle out, but maybe I, maybe I don't want to have him dangle out. So maybe I'll just roll him up and I'll glue him down. And I'll just let him know that uh, that's going to be his life. He's going to live right here. Okay, let me get the glue down at the end. That's probably the most important part. Okay, squash. Okay. Oh, so, you're so far away. Sorry. Yeah? Okay, so maybe, we do you, what? You want something on there? Okay, we can put something on there. I have a little stamp. Oh, you're cute. You wanna go on there? I'm gonna put you on there. Okay, nope, I don't know if you're gonna fit. Wait, you're kinda of laying down sideways, that won't work. Um, okay, how about a little fox stamp? Okay, that'll work. These little fox stamps. Must have been from some uh, mail that came in. That ever so wonderful, um, you know, free craft supply delivery service that uh, is called the mailman. And always think about what that mailman is delivering because there's, he's got goodies for you every day. Okay, maybe I'll put that there. Okay. I might run such an angle. Okay. Okay. There we go. And, uh, I had to laugh the other day. Somebody said, uh, oh, I, I like to watch your videos, uh, not because I learn anything, but because I just enjoy uh, listening to you or something. I'm like, okay, thanks. <laughs> that was hilarious. Okay. No, I, I, that's perfectly fine. Take from it what you will. It's all for your benefit and your joy and your journey. So there we go. We got all sorts of fun things here. Got a little pocket. Oh, we got another little pocket. Oh, we're not done yet. No, we still have this pocket and this pocket. Okay. All right, so what are we gonna stick in there, Miss Sally Sue? Um, let's see if this fits. Okay, yes, I think this will fit. Okay, this is uh, the foreign booklet uh, digital kit. Um, and you can put anything. I'm, I'm just showing you examples of things that you can put in these. Um, is that one gonna go in there? Let's see. Yeah, I think it might. Um, so we're gonna just assemble a quick little booklet inside of a booklet. Or I guess a booklet inside of a notebook, okay. All right, I think that will work. But let me ink this first. Yes, I feel like we're going to need the edges brown. I really should have my magazine under me, but I don't know where the darn thing is. It's way over there. And uh, I'm way over here <laughs> with you guys. Okay, so I put that there. Now, yes, yes, I see it's too wide. So we're gonna do something about that. All right, I'll we'll trim it. Okay. Okay, scissors. Okay, let's see if I can get the edge of it. I think it still might be a little wide. That's okay though. No, no, no. did we make it? <clears throat> okay, here's what we're gonna do to be absolutely sure. We're going to fold. And we're gonna take a little ruler. We're gonna use our craft knife and come down and just shimmy off the edge. Get in this shot. Shimmy off the edge so we know we are the white width. Make sure your craft knife is long enough. And quick trim. Oops, wiggled at the end. Yep, that happens sometimes. Retract. Put aside. Um, okay, and now uh, I think I'm going to glue this down. That'd be the easy way. <laughs> uh, not sure if I needed to brown it all up, but 
Okay, let's see what we got here. You could also sew it in or staple it in, but I'm just going to glue it to show you another alternative way to make booklets. But you, you know, you normally glue in every page in, but this is good for, good for like a little, little booklet. I, yeah, okay, is that good? There, okay, wait, wait. Okay, better. Better, better. Okay, and we fold. Now I probably want to go around and just do a little bit of extra inking. And I just did this on regular copy paper, nothing fancy. You could do it on um, cardstock. You could double up a couple pieces of copy paper. That would work too. Okay. Okay. So now you have this. And I would probably also ink here because we're inking. That's what we do. Uh, that's what I want. There. Grunge it. Grunge it. This thing has been through the mail, tucked in somebody's back pocket. Or in their little journal book and then you know okay that's natural aging in there but i'm going to take it up a level and just give it the extra what to see there we go okay so we have that and that means we can tuck that in the front how cute is that and then we want something to put in the back well i, I still have this guy and i have this guy so i can go ahead and pop those in the back because we have all this extra room. It's like one of those fancy um, suitcases, you know, you just keep opening it and opening it and there's more compartments and zippers and things and you've got so much room in there, you had no idea. Okay, so um, we'll flatten it out a little bit because sometimes it gets a little bulkier because we are stuffing it to, to high heaven. And uh, let's look on the inside. Let's look on the inside. And I need a little something. Um, where's that script stamp? <laughs> sure, I've got some ink on there. Let's see. Okay, let's we'll put you there. Oh, very nice. Yes, totally. Did it. Did it. A little here? Okay. Just a little. Just a little. Expressions of it. Hints of it. Okay. <clears throat> and uh, you could put things here if you want, uh, but I would let you do that on your own. Maybe I'll just use this because it's here and it's going to pop and it uses up a piece of paper. Yeah, Holly likes that idea. Yeah, I'll put it there. It totally needs to go there. Okay. You don't need to ink around, but you can. And... Oh, that's so cute. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. Okay. So like totally having lots of fun with these and um, you can make them as fast or as slow uh, as you like, whatever is fun for you. Okay. There we go. A little intro introduction page. Yeah. So cute, huh? Out of just a regular decorated envelope. Oh, I know what I was going to do. I, like, I knew I was going to do one more thing. What was it? What was it? Um, okay. So prototype prototype is where Proto oh here yeah so prototype was here so I put a stamp some um, material and some some of that you know liquid pearls with a bronze color it's gone totally gone where really come on okay hang on do you guys see it <laughs> okay I'm looking 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 how could, where could it go? Okay, hang on. All right, I see it. Do you see it? I bet you can't see it from where you are, but it's, it's no, you can't. It's, it was right here. See it? It was hiding behind this thing. <laughs> okay, so I don't know if I'm actually gonna use that one. Let me see. Well, maybe, okay. So this is uh, liquid pearls in, whoop, you're too far away. Bronze, okay, there we go, all right. So I'm just going to have some fun here. I'm just going to put some dots in the center of the pre-decorations. So I feel like I did something. Yeah. Yeah. On the centers of the flowers. And you could do other things if you want. Like you could come along the bottom and maybe just do some. The technique is down up, down up, down up to get the nice little ball shape. Down up. Liquid pearls. It's supposed to look like a little flat back pearl sitting on your stuff. Yeah. All right, just something as simple as that. Um, yeah, I want to do something else. Um, I feel like I want to do some of this stuff again. This was this was a lot of fun. Let me back up a little bit. Yeah, this was. Let's get some of this going again. Okay, now we already have the script stamp, so we're not going to put that on there. But maybe I want a word. Maybe I want a word. All right, let's put a word. We find a word. Hope. Oh, this is the definition of hope. I'm a bit too wordy. Um, <laughs> how about summer? 
Yeah, sure, why not? Because I found it. Um, even though we're going into fall, I like to use black for the words. You can use any color you want. This is black soot color. Uh oh, hang on. All right, I'm back. All is well. And I'm going to put summer here. Summer. There. Okay. All right. Now, don't touch the stickles, Pam. Okay, how about I just put that there? I think that's pretty. All right. Okay. So I'm just going to, well, I'm just going to use this glue stick, Scotch Create glue stick. All right. And, oh, okay. Got, oh! Mm. <laughs> it happened. <laughs> okay, that's okay though. It's okay. We don't let that phase us. No, we don't. Sometimes you can wipe them off fast. See that? Not bad. And you can come back in and reapply. But let me uh, put this here. Um, okay, so one thing I can, you know, share with you guys is let your liquid pearls and your stickles dry. Walk away. Go have a snack. Go call your sister. <laughs> um, all right, so back with the bronze yeah I think that was the one all right okay coming down the, the mountain here oh that was a big one that's okay there we go all right we are stickled and you could even do more or just leave it as is I kind of like it like that but if you wanted to go to town you could put one in each corner of that and that would look really cool so this is a demonstration of one that has a, a pre-decorated envelope you know something that Looks something like this, maybe you started with, and you just want to incorporate that into your design. And you can still tailor them and make them any way you like, that uh, you have fun with. So, let me get prototype. And let me not touch the wetness of that. So here's two. I hope you had fun. I had fun with you guys hanging out. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I love that we spend time together. Even if it's not the exact same time, it's still time together and we're still having fun and kicking up our heels and life is good and we sure as heck need a lot more of that. So let's keep having fun. So um, for all everybody who's been around a while, thank you so much. For everybody new, um, I've got some information for you here at the end. You might find helpful to navigate the paper outpost. If you find value here, please like, subscribe and share. Hit the notification bell. Favorite tools and supplies are found in my Amazon store that I use. Um, on my videos, I try and remember to put things in there. If I forget, just uh, ask me and I'll try and put a link to it in the store so you can find it easily. Um, vintage digital kits I have uh, for sale in my Etsy shop. If you like a uh, look of old papers, old writing, old this, old that, um, and you have a hard time finding it or it's too expensive um, or you have don't have the storage room for it, sometimes vintage or digital kits are the way to go. And uh, uh, I also put uh, journals and uh, fully decorated journals, naked journals, gift bundles in my Etsy shop occasionally. Take a peek in there. Sometimes they go in by surprise and occasionally I'll do a video letting you know they're coming. And uh, I have a newsletter. It's a monthly emailed newsletter that is free. You get a free digital image, journal tips, a checklist of supplies and note from the bookmaker included in that monthly. And uh, my videos come out Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays and Saturdays. 7 a.m. Eastern Time podcasts, which are audio, uh, all new material, different from the videos, all related to junk journals and the life of paper crafting. And uh, that they came out Tuesdays and Thursdays, and all the links are below. And if you have Apple Podcasts or Spotify and about seven other platforms, you can listen to it, or you just click on the link below and it takes you right there. You don't need any fancy stuff. And uh, my playlists are categories of videos organized for you as best I can. <laughs> um, uh, the links are down below and at the end of my videos. And um, you can find me on Instagram, Pinterest, Etsy, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Facebook. And come join our Facebook group. We're having so much fun over there doing weekly and monthly challenges. And uh, we're all just chit-chatting about junk journals, everything related to junk journals. And I get it's the like amazing place for inspiration. If you want to see what people come up with, it's just phenomenal. I mean, I get so many ideas from the, the lovely people on the, in the Facebook group. So thank you so much for sharing uh, what you make, your ideas, your tips, and answering each other's questions. You guys rock, totally. And remember that fun can be simple. Oh, yeah, I'm gone now, but I'm sure of it. And create with Rexless Abandon. Bye! <laughs>